Oh, do you have to let me grab these stuff right here. I know, I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for you guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi guys. Good morning, and welcome to Sea Lion and Otter Amphitheater. I'm here with one of my favorite little guys. His name is Duke. Do you guys say morning? Oh, my goodness, so beautiful. So Look, which starts tomorrow, you guys, and runs weekends all the way through January. And what we're featuring is playtime. Oh, one of my favorite things. So what you're going to see here at the amphitheater with Sea Lions is playing with some of their favorite toys, which you guys actually helped vote on. So we have some of these toys right here, and you guys actually picked the winner for two, which is this guy right here. It says Tug Toy, which is his absolute favorite. Who let you go play with that? So my name's Kyleen. I'm one of the trainers here at the stadium. Now Duke here is one of our oldest sea lions here. He's 22 years old. Well, we'd say 22 years young for him. <laughs> but what you're actually seeing is a really cool interaction between him and his trainer, Jenna. So that tug toy, again, like I said, is one of his favorites. And you're looking at why. <laughs> so the toys that we have here all have their own special specialties. They have different textures. They're different colors. They all have their own purpose. So one of Duke's favorite things is to play catch, <laughs> just like that. So what you're seeing right now is not just playing with just toys. You're seeing that interaction between us and our animals. You're seeing that special connection that we have with them. And that's really important here because it shows how much time we spend with our animals. And having playtime is really important because it's just kind of a laid back moment, but it's also another way for us to build a relationship with our animal. And when you guys come check out Inside Look, running weekend through January, you're going to see that special relationship that gives you guys a behind the scenes look into how much time we spend with our animals. And just like us, you guys don't want to do the same thing every day. And that's why it's so fun to be a behaviorist here and take all that time to kind of design every day to be different and fun for our animals. And you are seeing that right now, just like Jenna and his tongue toy right there. Now you're also going to see some other toys or interactions. So we have 10 male California sea lions here at the stadium. And we also have eight Asian small pot otters. And they all have their own favorite toys and interactions that they love. So you guys will have to come check it out. This weekend kicks off and then you'll see all the different interactions that we have. Every day is different. So you guys have to keep coming back to get that information. Oh, he's so cute, huh? <laughs> That's 600 pounds of love right there. Well, if you guys have any questions, just let us know. What's really fun here at the stadium is that they're like, themselves. They love to swim in the water. Now, this is chilled salt water, fresh salt water that we have here. So you're going to see them use their natural ability to swim. So Duke has those really big front flippers that they use to swim and go throughout the water. So not only are these toys kind of fun, but you're also going to see just how natural they can be, just like in the wild, right? Yes, I think so. Let's go for it. <laughs> so what's really cool about sea lions is you can see it's underwater. And it's the same color as that water, but they can see so well on land as well as underwater that you can find that toy. And that's one way that they find their fish just like Jenna threw in over there. And they get a large variety of fish here. He's getting over 20 pounds of fish per day. You're not even seeing that fish because you love your toy so much, huh? Yeah? What'd you find? So there you go, you can see that. So you're seeing he's using those same special abilities to play with his toy that he's finding that fish. Really, really fun stuff that you see here, huh? Someone asked how old he is, is he? He's 22 years old. He's our oldest sea lion here. Okay, let's see if we can get it. Go look at that 22 years ago. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm pretty far. Did you see it? Oh, I got it. I got it, guys. His name is Duke. <laughs> and his name is Duke. Ah, you got that toy. That's your favorite. And again, you guys, you're going to see such a variety of so much fun with all the different sea lions that we have here and different toys that they love to interact with. And it kind of would be surprising for you guys, but you might even see ice in the mix as well. That's some of their favorites. It also turns out to be an exercise for us for running around so much. <laughs> it's great for them. So what's also cool is not only can you guys ask questions now, but you're also going to be right in front of the trainers watching these interactions. So you guys can come down 
check it out. Ask all of us any questions that you have about our animals, how much care we put into them. How much does he weigh? He, you know, he just got weighed this morning, and he weighs just shy of 600 pounds. That's a pretty big boy. So he is one of our largest sea lions here. We have ranges between 300 and 600 pounds, which they do lose and gain weight all throughout the year based on their breeding season, what time of year it is. The back is growing, so he's kind of bulking up right now for the winter. And how many pounds of fish does he eat? He's day? getting about 22 pounds of fish per day. And that also varies throughout the year. Because during the summer for their breeding season, they actually are more focused about finding the ladies than they are about eating. So they actually eat less during the summer. That's what I do too. <laughs> for our summer bikini bodies, huh? Are you going to hold it? Are you going to hold it? I know that's your favorite is, huh? That's just your favorite is. And what's also awesome, you guys, is do you think he gets this toy every day? No, because then that wouldn't be as fun interaction for him. So it's a really special treat and something we use also in our training. So let people know, like, yes, we use fish as one way that they, we do our interactions with. It's called a primary reinforcer, just like us. If I do a great job, guess what? I get some pizza because it's a primary reinforcer for me, just like that fish is for Duke. But also, if they're doing such a great job, they're having so much fun, like learning or participating in a husbandry session, guess what we'll do? We'll bring out a toy, because that's also a secondary reinforcer for him. Because he's saying, oh my gosh, I get to play with my favorite toy. Also allows for some exercise to get around everywhere. So you might see it in some of our interactions, not just behind the scenes, but just a part of our sessions. Can Duke talk? <laughs> Can Duke talk? That's what they want to know. He's got a lot to say. Let's see what he say. You want to come up here? Let's see what I have to say for him. Okay. Can you talk up here? What do you see? Yeah? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Wow. He said, Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> That's not the same. I used to all speak sea lion here. So <laughs> he has one of the loudest voices with that big yeah. But again, the more times that you guys come to our inside look, you're going to see those different interactions, you're going to meet different sea lions. So you heard him talk, but we also have all our other sea lions that sound completely different. So it's really fun to get up close with them, up close to the trainers, and learn about all our different sea lions. And their different personalities, which is one of the most fun stuff. Where is it? Where do you go? How long do sea lions live? That's a good question. Out in the wild, they um, have a guesstimate between 10 and 15 years. Now, obviously, here at the Sea World, um, they have an amazing diet. It's restaurant quality fish. We also have an amazing veterinary staff, so that are on call at any time. So they have excellent medical care. And then what you're looking at right now, we do exercise sessions with them and make sure they're nice and healthy. So they get lots of love here. So 22 is looking pretty good on him. <laughs> you guys, if we had hours to do this, we would be here all day. Loves it. But you guys think this is fun? Again, Inside Book kicks off tomorrow, runs all weekend, all weekend through January. And if you guys are in the park today, you're actually going to hear the baby dolphins name that one over at Dolphin Stadium. If you come check out at 1145. If you guys can't make it to the park today because you're planning on coming this weekend, we'll post it on social media later. All right, you guys. Well, you guys, this has been so much fun for us. Thank you so much for. Oh, one other question. One last question. Um, how many behaviors can they learn? Oh my goodness. How many behaviors can they learn? Endless, you guys. Oh, Just like us, they can learn so many different behaviors. And again, you're gonna see all the different stuff between the different animals himself. Now, Duke has been here for 22 years, so you can imagine how many behaviors he can actually know. So you guys will have to come check now. You can see some of those as well. It's really fun. And again, that's what's so fun to make every day different for them. And you know what? They teach us every day. And that's one of my favorite things. So we'll see you guys starting tomorrow. Come hang out with us and get an inside look with all of our critters. And we'll see you